Hello everyone, we will continue the topic a BAP dictionary and in this video we will cover the difference between check table and value table. So many people ask about this particular topic. Now it's a turn to cover this topic also. We already saw check table when we did the practical of primary foreign key relationship. But now it's a turn to put stress on the check table and then we will simply simply compare it with value table. Now firstly, what is check table? Check table works at field level or we can say column level. So what is check table? Word itself is saying it checks the field values or column values or we can say restrict the field values. It means with the help of check table, you can restrict the data, you can restrict the values of a particular column or you can simply simply check the field values. We'll understand by example, yes, anyways we did the practical of header and item table but now it's a turn to go into detail. You all know we created two tables. What is first table? Header table. And what is second table? Item table. Order header table and order item table. This is our order header table. In which order number is the primary key? Suppose if I will go for order item table. This is our order item table. In which we have two primary keys order number and order item number. In both the tables, what is the common column? Order number. This is your primary key table. This is your header table. We can say it's a primary table. This is our item table and we can say it is our foreign key table. You all know this is primary table. This is our secondary table. We can say this is our independent table and this is our dependent table. Primary, foreign, independent, dependent, primary, secondary. You can go for any terminology, whatever you want to use. Now, after that, what we did, we simply put the order numbers into order header table. If you know, yes, with the help of SM30, we inserted the order numbers to order header table. Suppose if I will go for SM30 transaction code and show you. This is, or we already did the practical for the same. So into this order header table, we put the order numbers. Now, now after that, we have order item table. You all know order item table is dependent on order header table. It means in order item table, you can only only go for those order numbers, which is in order header table. We put so much stress at that point of time. It is never, never possible that data or so some data is in foreign key table and it is not in the primary key table. Data is always, always in the primary key table and it may or may not in the foreign key table, then it means in the order item table, we can only only go for those order number, which is in order header table. So how we did that at that point of time, we simply simply went to order item table. We clicked on to order number column. You all know order number is the common column between both of them. We clicked on to this button, foreign key button. And when we clicked on to the foreign key button, have you seen what is visible? Check table. And in the check table, we pass the name of the header table. It means this particular table will act as a check table, check table. It means into this order item table, I can only only go for those order number which are into this order header table. So what is check table? Check table works at field level. Yes, 
because we simply clicked on to field or column and we passed the name of the check table and this table is checking the order numbers means whatever the order numbers are into this header table we can only only go for those order number in the item table suppose if i will go for sm30 transaction code and show you if i will go for sm30 transaction code and i will go for order item table if i will go for edit if i will go for new entries here i can only only insert those order numbers which are in the order header table suppose i am going for any other order number which is not in the order header table so system will simply give me the error 600 is not in this table this table is a check table check table it is checking the entries now i need to go for only those order numbers which are in order header table suppose whatever the order numbers are in order header table it is automatically coming into f4 help you can see into order header table i have only only these order number and they are automatically coming into f4 help so this is all about your check table if i will read the theory point by point it will automatically clear suppose what is the first point we covered check table works at field level yes we simply simply clicked on to the field we simply clicked on to the field and then we pass the name of the check table yes but the second point check table checks the field values or we can say restrict the field value yes yeah when you pass the check table after that you cannot go for any other data you can only only go for that data which is in the order header table you can only go for those order number which are in the order header table so it will check the field value check means if you are giving wrong order number it will give the error and it will restrict the field values now whenever a field has a check table now this field now this order number field has a check table whenever a field has a check table the set of all possible entries is defined by the contents of check table yes this is extremely extremely true the set of all possible entries whatever we can pass here is defined by the contents of check table only and they are automatically coming into f4 help yes they are automatically coming into f4 help we already covered the check table yes but now it's a turn to go into very much detail so what is the summary of this particular topic particular video in this video we started with check table and value table we already did the practical but at that time we have not put stress because at that time we covered primary foreign key relationship but at that time ultimately we are passing that check table so what is check table check table works at field level word itself is saying why we are going for check table so that it will check the data it will restrict the data it because we we should not go for data inconsistency suppose in our example order header order item it should not be the case that in order item table we can put any random order number no we can only only go for those order number which are in order header table so what we did we simply simply clicked on to order number column and we defined order header table as a check table it means whatever the order number we will put into order item table it must be in the order header table it will check that order number is in order header table or not and yes it will automatically come into the f4 help and i showed you whatever the order number are in the order header table it is automatically coming into the f4 help of order item table order number now in the next video we will simply simply go for value table 
how we can go for value table and what is the difference between check table and value table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.